Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how you can sign up and set up your organization based out of India in Deskera Books. Let's start. The first thing that you need to do is key in your email address. Let's click on start 15 days trial. Need to key in your name, the company name, your phone number that is optional and a password. Let's click on continue. You can key in your card details if you want to get 50% off or you can start your trial without any card. Let's click on start my trial. Let's go to the product. The first thing that you need to do is open up your mailbox and verify the email that you get from Deskera. Let me do that in the background. You would get an email with the subject verify your email address. Simply click on the link and your email address and your account gets verified. Once that is done, let's click on books. First thing that you need to do is set up your company. You may also choose to explore the demo company first and set up the company later. Let's start with set up your company. Need to key in your organization name, the country that is India. You need to enter the state as well. This is for enabling the tax calculation you need to specify your financial year start date let's select this as 1st april the book's beginning date can be the date from which you start entering transactions in deskera anything before that will basically be an opening balance for now let's keep the same book's beginning date as the financial year date if you are a gst registered entity click on yes and key in the GSTN number. Let's click on next. What does your business deal with? If you're only a service oriented company, you can select services. If you're into digital products like ebooks, softwares, etc., you can select digital products. Or if you're a trader and dealing only in inventory, you can select this. You can also choose multiple options over here. If you have a pick pack ship model, for dispatching goods, you may enable this. If you have multiple warehouses or price list, you can enable this as well. You also have the option to enable this at a later stage. Let's enable this for now and click on all set. Our initial setup is done. The next steps involve the onboarding. Now you may start by directly creating your invoice, your expense, you may start importing your data, or you can start connecting your bank. Let's go to settings first. Under settings in the organization profile, you need to do certain setups and enter key in details for your organization. Let's click on edit. You can choose the date format. Under finance, you can enable multi-currency. You can specify the number of decimal places you want and the number format. Let's select this one. Under the compliance rules, if you've already enabled GST, then you need not enter the GST line again. But in case you missed out, you can always do it from here. You need to enter the GST register date. Let's do that. If you want to enable TCS, you can do that by toggling this. Any of these that apply to you can also be checkmarked. If you want to enable TDS, you need to key in your TAN number and the interest rate. You can also enable invoicing and GST e-filing from here. Let's key in the TAN number. Under addresses, you need to specify your organization address. Let's specify the details.
and we can update this. Let's save these changes. Once these changes have been saved, we can go back to settings. Under settings, you get the option to set up GST, TDS and TCS. Let's start with GST. Click on tax. Now the first thing you notice is all the default GST rates have already been pre-configured. You don't need to add them. In case there is any additional tax that you deal with, simply click on add tax. You can also add a tax group that allows you to combine two taxes and use them. For instance, Kerala flood says. Let's go back. Under TDS setup, you can create all the TDS rates. The default nature of income payment and deductive types have been already added. In case there are any government changes and new ones are added, you can simply click on add and add the new nature of income and deductive type. In order to add a new TDS rate, simply click on add, select the nature of income payment. Let's select 194i. You can specify whether this rate is for resident or non-resident. Specify the TDS rate. You can choose the TDS account, the basic exemption per annum. What deductive type is it applicable for? The applicable from date. This is to assist in case there are any changes. For instance, we recently saw a 25% basis point drop during 2020 and then it was again changed. So you can specify the applicable from date. Let's choose 1st April. Let's click on save. This TDS rate has been saved. You can use it in the various master setup and transactions that we will see in the later tutorials. Let's go to TCS setup. Under the TCS rate setup, you can again define the TCS rate that you deal with. The nature of collection is already selected. Let's key in the TCS rate. The name that you want to key in. This option is also provided in case TCS rates change. We click on save and the TCS rate is also saved. This can now be used in transactions. You need to make sure TCS is enabled in the organization profile compliance settings. This concludes the tax setup. You can also set up terms like unit of measurement, payment terms, unit of measurement schema. The payment terms are basically the credit period that you want to give to your customers. So you can add new credit terms over here and you can mark one of them as default. Simply click on add payment term, key in a name, the number of days. If you want to set it as default, click on save. This gets added. You can now tag these to the customers. Under the unit of measurement, some default unit of measurements have already been created. In case you want to add a new one, simply click on add new one. Save this. The next option that we have is unit of measurement schema. This is in case you want to use multiple units of measurement and define a relation between them. For instance, let's create box of 100 pieces. The default UM in this case is pieces. Now we specify that 100 pieces is equivalent to one box. If there are any other conversion that you want to specify, you can simply click on add conversion. So you can have 1000 pieces equal to one carton and so on. You can click on save. You can now use these multiple unit of measurements in your products and the various transactions that you make. That is the purchase and sales. There are various other setups that you can also do. For instance, creation of custom fields. In case you require some additional fields, depending on the nature of your business, simply click on custom fields, click on create. Let's create a custom field called brand. This can be a text field, a number or a multiple selection drop down field. Select this one. Let's add the various drop down values. You can mark one of these as default. Let's click on next. You can choose where to show these. You can enable this at the contact. 
count that is ledgers products journals or any other transaction let's enable it at the product and some other transactions as well let's click on create so this way you can create multiple custom fields depending on the nature of your business so these are the various settings that you can do before you actually start keying in the various masters or opening balances you can explore the settings and enable other options as applicable to your business.